F. Welcome to PLB TV. Let's talk about the CEF, the Common European Framework of Reference Learning, Teaching, Assessment, CEF. It is a system which could be used to compare language levels for teaching and testing languages in Europe. It was developed by the Council of Europe in order to try and set clear, attainable standards at different levels of language learning for European languages. The system is by no means perfect, but the descriptions below give some indication of the relationship between the CEF levels and standard levels used in teaching English. Let's talk about the CEF levels, shall we? Starting with A1, the beginner level. The beginner level, A1, means that the student has basic knowledge of the language, familiar everyday expressions and simple phrases. The A2 level, pre-intermediate level, means that the student is familiar with frequently used expressions and conversation on routine matters. The B1, on the other hand, means that the student has a higher knowledge an intermediate knowledge. The student at this level can understand the main point of clear standard input on familiar matters, regularly encountered in work, school, leisure, etc. The student at this level can deal with most situations likely to arise whilst traveling in an area where the language is spoken. The student can produce simple connected texts on topics which are familiar or of personal interest. The student can describe experiences and events, dreams, hopes and ambitions, and briefly give reasons and explanations for opinions and plans. The B2 level is considered an independent user, or the student has an upper intermediate level. At this level, the student can understand the main ideas of complex text on both concrete and abstract topics, including technical discussions in his or her fields of specialization. The student can interact with a degree of fluency and spontaneity that makes regular interaction with native speakers quite possible without strain for either party. At this level, the student can produce clear, detailed text on a wide range of subjects and explain a viewpoint on a topical issue, giving the advantages and disadvantages of various options. The C1 level is the advanced level. At this level, the student can understand a wide range of demanding, longer texts and recognize implicit meaning. He or she can express himself or herself fluently and spontaneously without much obvious searching for expressions. The student can use language flexibly and effectively for social, academic and professional purposes. He or she can produce clear, well-structured, detailed text on complex subjects, showing controlled use of organizational patterns connectors and cohesive devices. The C2 level is the proficient level. The student at this level can understand with ease virtually everything heard or read. He or she can summarize information from different spoken and written sources, reconstructing arguments and accounts in a coherent presentation. He or she can express himself or herself spontaneously very fluently and precisely, differentiating finer shades of meaning even in more complex situations. Thanks a lot for being with us and I'll see you next time with some more information about the English language.